My name is Ayodele Osasana. I'll be started as a cardiothoracic surgeon. You know, from the get-go, even before I went to college, I knew that I wanted to work with my hands. I knew that I was interested in medicine, had some family members with some medical problems early on, early on. so that kind of got me interested in medicine. So from there, it was a question of what am I going to do in college, you know, before medical school. And engineering seemed, especially biomedical engineering, seemed like a great fit for me. And it was, I mean, it was a great experience for me. And honestly, I think it lent itself well into a surgical field, not only in terms of the mechanics of uh, working in the body, but also in terms of a lot of the instruments that we use today. I took an anatomy physiology class in high school and the system that really made the most sense to me that sort of came naturally was a cardiovascular system. And so I think that combined with my interest in wanting to do something hands-on kind of lent itself very well to um, doing cardiac surgery. So I went to University of Kentucky for medical school. And then from there, I did general surgery residency at University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston, Texas. And then went to the Auctioner Clinic Foundation for my cardiothoracic surgery fellowship. Somebody very close to me was uh, quite sick early on. And um, it took a pretty extensive sort of team of doctors and surgeons actually to, to get her better. And I was able to interact with doctors, a lot of healthcare professionals. And I think that was my first foray into medicine, into the healthcare field, and uh, got me quite interested, especially in terms of just what they could do uh, for a person and what they could do for an individual and for a family. Um, so I, I thought that if I could have that sort of impact in, in, in an individual's life on a family that um, it would be a very fulfilling career. I was born in Nigeria. I moved to the States, United States, when I was eight years old and I actually moved to Louisville, Kentucky. So the most amount of time that I've spent in any one place actually has been in Kentucky, has been in Louisville, Kentucky. I left for college and came back here to the University of Kentucky for medical school. So I've spent quite a bit of time in Kentucky. Um, I feel like I'm not only love Kentucky, I also love the people here. Um, so I think those sorts of things combined with how great an opportunity it was to work with people like Dr. Bronstein and Dr. Vetsitas and how much opportunity there is here uh, to do uh, my craft. I think that the sort of maybe specific aspects of cardiac surgery that I'm particularly interested in would probably be uh, valve pathology, particularly aortic and, and um, mitral valve pathologies. And um, would love to to kind of explore that more here. There are now more options for less invasive methods of addressing um, valve pathologies. So if one ha if someone has uh, certain types of valve pathologies, or has a certain types of problems with specific valves, if the person is an appropriate candidate, and that is determined usually by a conversation between the surgeons and the cardiologists, then they perhaps be a candidate for these less invasive methods of, uh, of, um, of fixing that valve. Some uh, cardiothoracic surgeons specialize just on the heart, others specialize just on the lungs. Um, I will do both, both uh, heart surgery as well as lung surgery, but uh, oftentimes people think cardiothoracic surgeons really are just heart surgeons, but a lot of times they do both lung surgery as well as esophageal, as well as esophageal surgery. So now a lot of times, most lung surgery is done uh, thoracoscopically. So small incisions are made between the ribs. Small ports are placed in, um, through those incisions into the thoracic space. And a camera and long instruments are used to kind of operate on the lung. The idea is that a uh, patient will have less issues with scarring, with the wound healing, but also have less pain. So oftentimes they're able to move around much easier after surgery and, and oftentimes they're able to get out of the hospital faster and return to their normal activities quicker. We can also do it with the robot. We have um, a pretty new technology over the last uh, couple of decades of the DaVinci robot system, which um, allows you to be able to work at a console in the, in the, in the operating room and actually do the surgery robotically and um, the view is excellent and, and um, patients tolerate it really quite well.